Hi folks, welcome back. We are here at uh, Green Valley Ranch, the district, and the Green Valley Ranch Casino just departing their parking lot here. They also have a parking garage here for parking convenience. I prefer the parking lot. I don't want to have to walk all that far through the parking garage as security passes the other way. And we're going to make a left here onto Village Walk Drive through the heart of Green Valley District, or the district here at Green Valley. And they do have some on-street parking here through the uh, Green Valley District, which folks are obviously taking advantage of. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And look at that Jeep. That is really tricked out. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And thanks to all of you who've already liked, followed, and subscribed as we drive down this magical lane called Village Walk Drive here at the district in Green Valley Ranch. So we have shopping and dining in here. A Sephora over here off to our right. Coffee bean and tea leaf to our left. And we're approaching, once we get past this stop sign, the Green Valley Parkway. The PF Chang's over there off to the left. And we're going to go ahead and make a left to go north here on Green Valley Parkway. As we await our turn. The Cheesecake Factory across the street there. And you've got P.F. Chang's over here on this side. And we've just waiting here for our turn signal. And we finally got our turn signal. Try and clean the windshield a little bit here as so we'll hold food, hold foods over there on the northeast corner as we get over here to the I-215 West turn lanes. And we're gonna take the 215 up here to Paradise Road, which will carry us underneath the airport. some of this sludge out of the way as our light turns green and we head west on interstate 215 here claim jumper there in the background 215 beltway circles all of las vegas except for the eastern part which was never completed for whatever reason and we're approaching, uh, actually it's just a little after 9 p.m. here on a Monday night. As we get over, you can see a lifted, what looks like a Chevy there in the middle lane with its green neon underneath it, a light. And he is really rolling down the road. Sure hope he doesn't yank on the steering wheel, he's going to tip over. As we cross the interchange with Picos Road, or as others have corrected me, Pecos Road, here in town. Major north-south artery here throughout Las Vegas. And there is the aforementioned Chevy pickup truck getting over in front of us with its green neon lighting underneath it. That is quite the spectacle. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please do like and follow us on TikTok as well. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok, which is a little more daunting a task, but uh, we're working on it. And, um, Please do like our videos. 
they bring us higher up in the rankings on YouTube, which exposes us to more viewers. As we start our turn, our 90 degree turn northward, it is a brief 90 degree turn northward on the 215, Interstate 215 West, named 215 because it is a circle around Interstate 15 here in Las Vegas. See the sign there, it says Windmill, Warm Springs, and the airport. All the next exits and the uh, sphere, I don't know if it's gonna come out in the video, but the emoji screen is up for the sphere with its little lights, I'm sorry, its little eyeballs lit up there. That's really fun. As we approach the exit here for Windmill Lane, down here in the city of Henderson. And then we begin another curve to the west here on the 215. And as we approach the interchange with Warm Springs Road here in three quarters of a mile. This is also the exit for the rental car return, asking everyone to use Warm Springs Road for it. I believe it's off of Bermuda and Warm Springs. Bermuda Road and Warm Springs, if memory serves. And we're gonna get off here at the airport. Exit. You can see the strip there in the distance beyond the uh, interstate signs. Sunset Road and the airport in a quarter mile. Just a reminder if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our video so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. As you can see, the airlines for each of the terminals listed above roadway here and please do like our videos they will recommend us and move us up higher in the rankings to other viewers this is the tunnel under the main runway here or at least this is leading us to the tunnel that goes under the main runway here at Las Vegas International Airport Not sure how much that sound is going to come out, but uh, it is very loud. This concrete ish roadway here. We're going to stay in the airport bypass right lane here as we are now in the tunnel underneath the main runway here at Las Vegas International Airport. And just a reminder, please do like and subscribe to our videos so we can continue making more of them. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please do like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really, really appreciate it. Rank brings us up higher in the rankings on YouTube and on TikTok. The more people that like our videos. See the sign there for Air Park Bypass as well as the signs on the left there if you were to go into the airport. Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. Terminal 3 is, of course, the international terminal. And we are going to go on the bypass here. Instead of going over to Terminal 3, see the parking garage there for the airport. Right there. to the light at, I believe it's Russell Road. Yeah, so we want to go straight. Come up to this light here at Russell Road. See some billboards there for uh, Martha Stewart, Paris Caesar Rewards as well as Virgin Hotels. Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club, Lunell Tonight. And these 
dynamic billboards change their faces every three or four seconds, so it's hard to remember what each one says. It looks like we've got some merging of lanes up here. This is the former Swenson Road, but has now become University Park Drive, I believe it's called. So we're going to take University Park Drive northbound here as we approach the light at Tropicana. There's a lot of construction here as there is everywhere in this town. I'm not sure if that license plate up there is, uh, if you're able to make that out, but it says MGM R Resorts. And I believe that's going to be one of the uh, high roller limos. Which of course I'm not high roller, so... I will never know what the back of that limo will look like, or smell like for that matter, and that might not be a bad thing. And just a reminder, please do like and follow us on TikTok and YouTube. We really appreciate it. Let's see all of the traffic here at Tropicana. I'm not sure why the lane we're occupying is not moving. And we've uh, finally got another green light after waiting through about three of them here at Tropicana and the former Swenson, now University Park Drive. They've got all of the lanes down here, which makes for a real mess, especially when you're just trying to get out from the airport and get to your hotel. And uh, a lot of the taxis here are uh, kind of breaking all sorts of rules as we will go through the intersection. We were through it before we broke, uh, after we broke the plane of the intersection, so we're good. There's the UNLB Thomas and Mack Center. As we look at what they're calling Paradise North, but it's really University Center Drive strip there behind the billboards. And just a reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube, a monetized channel, we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. And they're still calling this paradise north as we get around this individual at the side street says university as we approach Harmon here and we finally got the green light here at Harmon but this minivan from Washington wants to change its mind here at the last second. University Center Drive, where we marry back up with Paradise. You can see the uh, Westgate in the distance there, dead ahead, as well as the Strat, formerly the Stratosphere. I've had several requests to uh, film up here at the former Swenson and Twain, so that's what we're headed towards. As we're in the University District here for UNLV, and this is the Lighted Flamingo road. And I'm feeling good because we have a bike in front of us. Those typically don't go all that slowly. That portends something positive for us. Finally got the green here at Flamingo Road. And we will continue northbound here as we look out towards the west there and see the link 
And up there, you can see the Strat. As we can continue north here on what is University Center Parkway, or Drive. In the distance up there, I don't know if it can come out, but that is uh, downtown Las Vegas. And the Circa, with its blue facade on the south side of it up there showing off. As we approach the light here at Twain, I've had many requests to come up here and video Twain and Paradise slash Swenson here at night. So I'd like to give you the opportunity as we look into the year 2023 at the gas prices there. At this 7-Eleven, it is 504 cash price for regular unleaded. And if you want to pay credit, that's going to be $5.14. See the Strat there in the center left of your screen, as well as the Sphere over here to our left, and the Vegas Market right there on the left. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel as we continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, they will monetize the channel and we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And you can see the sign there, it says Twain Swenson Plaza. So this is where we are, one of the uh, most requested areas that I've been requested to uh, take videos of on both TikTok and on YouTube. And here we go. Going right on Twain. See the shopping centers over here on the right of us. Lucky's Gaming and Spirits over here on the left. And we uh, approach the light here at Cambridge. And now that we are at Cambridge, we're going to make a left on the Cambridge. The car says it's 91 degrees outside right now. Not sure what the conversion to Celsius would be, but uh, here we are. We have an earlier version of our video here. There were a lot of homeless folks camped out here on uh, Twain, up above on the uh, left there. And we're going to make this left onto Cambridge. And just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. Hello to all of you who are in uh, the UK, as well as Canada, Australia, and India. We see you, and we appreciate you being here. You see Don's Market there on the right. No relation to me, of course. And a 7-Eleven up here on the left. 7-Elevens have the most peculiar propensity for showing up in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of these neighborhoods. As we have the right of way, we're going to go. See that 7-Eleven there? as we pass Lisbon Avenue, Lisbon as in Portugal. And we come up to the light here at Desert Inn. Desert Inn named because it was formerly the Desert Inn Hotel and Casino, located there at the corner of Desert Inn Road and uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. It is no longer there, of course. There's a Papa John's straight ahead of us. And the Mark I Apartments. And they are now eastbound here. There's something called Jade Dispensary on the left. We're eastbound here on Desert Inn Road. Coming up on Maryland Parkway. And this is maybe, maybe a mile east of the Las Vegas Strip. Definitely not somewhere that you'd want to be walking too far because uh, it take you forever. As we get the green light here at Maryland Parkway, 
we are going to continue eastbound on Desert Inn. So we look over at the De Boulevard Mall over there. Boulevard Mall located here in this area. The east side of town. Please do like and follow us on TikTok and on YouTube. Subscribe and follow it as we pass a night away. And La Canada Drive. And again, we're only here because of you, our viewers. So we thank you for being here and we really do hope you uh, like our videos. And if you don't, leave a comment. Let us know what we can do to change and be different. Tell us how to improve. We really appreciate it. As we continue eastbound here on Desert Inn Road towards Eastern Avenue, another major east-west, I'm sorry, east-north-south artery here on the uh, east side of town. Eastern, you can see these little blue flashing lights over here that are powered by a solar panel or two. I guess they're meant to make people feel that there's a police presence or something. You can see it there. But um, there is, in fact, no police presence. And there's a CVS Pharmacy E Moss. CVS Pharmacy and more located there on the corner. Here at Desert Inn and Eastern Avenue. And we see and hear some sirens over here to our left. And there go Las Vegas Metro PD. Two units right there. Going south on Eastern. Thankfully they're gone by the time our light turned green. And so we continue eastbound here on Desert Inn Road. Five below store right there as we come across Topaz Street here on the east side of town. Lindo Machokin, of which there are three locations. The best one, in my humble opinion, is the one down off of uh, Carnegie, which has a terrific view of the strip from that location in Henderson. If you uh, are staying or Visiting down there near Henderson, I strongly recommend it as we pass Picos McLeod Interchange. And that Jeep just went flying. And uh, this Camry wants in front of me. Now approaching Mojave. And it is about 9.30 p.m. here, Monday night. And the temperature still reads 91 degrees outside, according to the car. And our light is finally about to turn green here. As we pass Mojave Road on Desert Inn Road, eastbound. And of course, with perfect timing, as soon as that light, that light turned green, this one turned red. Here at Picos, or Pecos Road, as I've been corrected in recent days. in the distance there you can make out Boulder Station, one of the station casinos here located around town. The station casinos uh, during COVID shut down and shuttered all of their locations but they uh, permanently shuttered a few of them, tore down the buildings and are waiting to sell the land upon which their former station casinos once existed as we come up to the light here at Sand Hill Road. And there was a Fuhrer 
among the locals here as to what could have been done with those properties, but uh, it did not come to pass. They were hoping maybe some of the homeless population could be housed in some of the uh, hotels, the former hotels at these station casinos, but that did not, of course, come to pass either. As we approach the light here at Boulder Highway and the rallies here at Boulder Highway, rallies is part of the Checkers Group. Fast food hamburgers. And there's a look at Boulder Station there on our left on the north side. And then a Dottie's Gaming and Spirits there, straight ahead. That's a chain located here throughout the valley. And we are awaiting our green light here as Boulder Highway southbound takes its turn to go left onto what will become Lamb Boulevard. This is, of course, the beginnings of Lamb Boulevard. Desert Inn turns into Lamb Boulevard right here at Boulder. Boulder Highway. And you can see folks making the right there onto Desert Inn and continuing eastbound. We are going to continue northbound here on Lamb. As you can see an ambulance passing the other way. The median is more than six feet in width, so we need not stop. As you can see, Boulder Station there. Approaching the light here at Ridgedale Avenue. Boulder Station Hotel and Casino. Game on Sports Bar now open. Been reading about that in the paper. It's a, a new sports bar that's been opened up here at Boulder Station here on the east side of town. And approaching the light here at Val Vegas Valley Drive. Tow truck going the other way had El Fantasma emblazoned across the front. I'm not sure if that'll come out with the camera. But still heading northbound here on Lamb Boulevard through what looks like a residential district. We got homes on both sides. As we come up to Karen Avenue, sharing is Karen. Just a reminder, please do like and subscribe to our channel. We really, really appreciate it. It helps us move up the rankings and exposes us to more viewers. Thanks to all of you who've already liked, followed, and subscribed. We would not be here without you. Coming up with the light here at Sahara Avenue. And Lamb. The Plate Bar and Grill there on the right. residential homes on either sides of this busy six-lane thoroughfare. As we pass the city streets, Philadelphia, Chicago, and now they turn into state streets. Well, there's New York, but that could go either way. And then this is, of course, Wyoming Avenue. That will still be yellow when we go through it. Golden Corral there on the left. They did survive COVID. Unlike Sweet Tomatoes, which suffered a t an untimely death, in my humble opinion, due to COVID. Really do miss Sweet Tomatoes. And there's a little Walmart neighborhood market right there. Has this truck turns in with its Mexican flag on the back. And we're going to make a right here onto Charleston Boulevard here on the east side of town. And just a reminder, if you'd like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more videos. We really appreciate your support and thank you for your support. And again, we would not be here if not for you. Pass more fast food outlets here on the east side of town. Coming up on Arden. Arden is 
called Arden on the south side here of Charleston, where it becomes Marion on the north side of Charleston. It's not confusing at all. You can see the price of gas there on the right side, south side of Charleston, is $5.49 for regular gasoline cash price here in 2023. I've read that OPEC has recently tightened up supplies of fuel. OPEC is, of course, the uh, organization in the Middle East that uh, controls the supply of oil here to the U.S. And so they are uh, artificially increasing the price by reducing the amount of supply here in America and abroad, I'm certain. Chevy pickup truck, or GMC rather, but potato potato. It's kind of all over his lane there. A little dip in the road there. And approaching the light here at Nellis. We have many videos on our library, in our library, of Nellis. Up and down, daytime, nighttime. So please feel free to check those out on both TikTok and on YouTube. We really, really appreciate you being here. Nellis Boulevard, here on the east side of town. And there's a Target there on the southeastern corner of Charleston Boulevard, Nellis Boulevard, which is undoubtedly closed now because it is... Uh, after 9 p.m., I believe that's the closing time for Target. And please do like our videos. They do move us up. Every time you like our videos, it moves us up in the rankings to other viewers on both TikTok and YouTube. We're going to uh, get around this individual and be stopped by the light at Christie. Christy Lane loves being read for us. Whether it's on Stewart, Charleston, Washington, Bonanza, it doesn't matter. Christy is almost always read for us. But she just turned green. That's rare. Quite a, quite a rare, rare happenstance there. We're going to go ahead and get over to the center lane here. Still continuing eastbound on Charleston Boulevard towards the east end of town. See there is Las Palmas Indoor Swapped Meat on the right. 549 again for super, I'm sorry, for regular at the Shell gas station there as we cross over Sloan. And the Albertsons gas or Albertson supermarket there, which is now closed. Continuing eastbound. Oh, tree line got us. I'm not sure if the lights have switched over to immediate sensors or not, but it does look like they have a couple cars there. Here at this time of night, 9.40 p.m. Temperature in the car reads 93 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right around uh, 32 degrees Celsius, if memory serves. So it's not totally miserable as it would be in the middle of July at this time of day. Here at Treeline Drive, we have videos of Treeline Drive on our library as well. Tree line goes down to the side of an entrance to Las Vegas High School. Located over here on the east side of town. And there's Casablanca's Gaming and Bar. 24 hour bar and gaming. And they have a uh, barbecue spot in there too. I think it's called Monty's. I've never been, but I've heard good things about it. Read good things about it, rather. As 
we approach the last lone traffic light out here in the desert before Charleston terminates about a quarter mile past here or past this traffic light. This is, of course, Hollywood Boulevard, at which point we're going to go ahead and terminate our video. Thanks for joining, everyone. Please do like, follow, subscribe. We really appreciate it, and thank you to all of you who are here. We would not be here without you. We'll see you again next time.